Hey there folks, welcome to this video, and yes, that is a new animation, you're going to be seeing a lot more of that over the course of the next while. In this video, I'm going to be doing a kind of analytical breakdown for uh, for the past month here on YouTube. It's something I usually do, well, over the course of every month. I do a bit of a comparison to, say, what happened the month before, so I'll be comparing August to July, as well as in regards to kind of general form for 2019 and looking back at 2018 as well. But let's start off with a kind of comparison to um, to July, and I'll put some of the figures up on the screen as well. So in terms of what we actually saw, um, we saw a decrease in views between August and July. Um, it was a decrease of 38.36% from 3115 to 1920, which isn't actually too bad. It, it sounds a bit different to how it actually is. Um, for me, it's quite a good thing because if I think back to, say, January, which was before July, the highest kind of tally of the year, the drop down in February was much greater. So I'm I'm very happy with that kind of performance there. And also, in terms of raw figures, it's still nearly 2,000 views. In terms of average duration, it goes up by a second. <laughs> Which means that whilst um, watch time also falls um, from 6,247 to 3,902, it's not exactly in line with how it kind of reflects my viewership. But again, um, it's only one second's difference, so difference is negligible. What's interesting is if you look at the kind of viewer engagement, so likes fell by 7, so that's a decrease of around about 10%, really. However, dislikes fell by... <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, it fell by 38. It fell by 88.37%. That's spectacular. Comments, um, again, month on month rise by 34.1%. Um, from 44 to 59. Shares, um, however, this is a bit odd because sometimes when I tweet out my links that that counts as a share um, went from 7 to 9 and also does subscribers so my subscriber gain was 13 which is down 7% but it's still a massive gain which meant that I finished last month at 145 subscribers which for me personally it's, it's, it's something I'm really happy about it's a really nice tally to have so let's have a look at the kind of views that we ended up getting so it's nothing compared to July. July we had the Rich Energy video that got 800 views. We had the Hayden Padder one that got 525. We had the um, British Grand Prix race review which got over 400. Um, the German Grand Prix race review which got over 150. As well as a couple of other bits and pieces that got past 100. And just below that by um, RSRBR stream from the new year. Last month we didn't really have that kind of thing. Um... Only three videos got more than 100 views, one of them actually being the What's New in RSRBR 2019. Which I, I, I still don't kind of understand really. Um, it's getting near to 2,000 views. It's it's passing 1,700 views. It's, it's spectacular. And people are watching a good couple of minutes of it as well. But on top of that... Um, the top one was for Check Rally Zen. Um, it was RSRBR stream, which ended up with the highest, I think, peak concurrent at the very least, I think, this year, if not ever for me on this channel. Um, it was a peak concurrent of over 10, which was weird for me to kind of handle. And I handled it by driving into a tree and wrecking the car. A couple of other little bits and pieces I quite liked though were things like Feeders to Lula review, um, which got 90. The um, fact that the Craig Breen returning to WRC ended up picking up a few dozen views, and the Hate of Valentine Sport one still did as well. Um, Has Rich Energy stuff ended up picking up a few. And then towards the end of the month, things like Why the WRC's 2020 calendar is delayed, something which I quite like doing personally up over 50 views. And in terms of geography, it was a very different spread. 
Now, of course, this is a weird thing because um, if like a country is declared or if someone uses a VPN or ad blocker, it messes it up. But whilst in July we saw a massive spread with UK getting 35%, US on 24%, Netherlands on 21%, New Zealand on 6.8%, and Australia on 6.6%. Last month we saw UK on 54%, Czechia on 21%, Estonia on 14%, US on 3.6%, and Finland on 2.8%. It's a massive spread again across, well, the world. Largely European, and a bit more European than last time. A lot more European than last time, but... Fascinating, to say the least. And in terms of uh, traffic sources, less came from YouTube search and more came from external notifications. The notifications one's an interesting one because it's people who either have like bell notifications on for me or it's people who um, get me coming up as a recommendation. However, I think these don't actually speak the entire volume of what this channel has gone through. Of course in August it passed five years of daily video content and now in year six of that and holy moly that is something. Um, it also saw me making more and more motorball content because that was really what I enjoyed doing. My first kind of mini video essay. Um, the How the WRC could help F1's driver market. Um, experimenting with new techniques. So, for example, the Ocon moving to Renault one um, was the first time properly that I'd decided to do the kind of narrate over gameplay bit. Um, more and more work with the green screen and more and more work with publicizing myself, which was quite fun and getting myself out there, getting my videos reviewed by people who I follow on Twitter for, and I have done for months or years. And people who have been like, yeah, this person does a really good job of this. It's been wonderful. And being able to turn around and go, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. That kind of engagement is wonderful, it's spectacular. And I know I'm saying those two words a lot, but it actually means a lot to me. I knew that there was going to be a kind of drop in my viewership between um, July and August because... Well, July was so high up, and I needed to be hitting the mark with every single video, and I like hitting the mark, but I also like doing what I like doing. So where I want to talk about little bits and pieces, I have to make sure that there's stuff that I kind of want to talk about. This month I've had a bit of a st struggle at the start, making videos more and more where there's no green screen, or there's limited green screen, or it's a brief video. So if I talk about the videos I've made this month, um, I had a brief green screen one on Sunday, but that was because of the kind of tone of the video. I had one without a green screen Monday, yesterday, and now today. But I'm still editing it, I'm still putting bits and pieces over it, and That works. It's who I am. And I am very happy with this. The thing now is to keep doing this kind of content, keep making it so stuff that I'm happy with, stuff that I'm kind of comfortable with making. It's weird for me to look at my most viewed videos and look at even the viewed videos recently or compare this to a year ago. Those of a year ago have gotten, um, last month was double what, more than double what um, August 2018 was. In August 2018, my most viewed video from that month was Daniel Ricciardo moving to Renault. But if I look at my top 10 videos now, 2019 is massively seeping in there. My most viewed video, of course, um, is now clearly ahead of a couple of 2018 ones, which have been up there. Then you've got another 2019 one in fifth. In sixth, in seventh, and then eleventh and twelfth, and thirteenth, and fifteenth. But they're right on the cusp. By which I mean the Hayden Pan to M Sport one is three views away from overtaking the A level results day video from 2016. This is now actually overtaking 2018's my best year on YouTube in terms of the most viewed videos, well it's just overall and generally. 
and I'm happy about that. I don't need to be provoking people to get the views. I can just be who I am. And it works well for me. It meant that I personally have been having a brilliant month. And it's meant that um, you people who are coming along and enjoying and subscribing and liking and watching and commenting and so on and so forth actually want to do it. And, they, and you guys want to do it because you're engaged. Well, I mean engaged with the video, not otherwise engaged. But if you are, congratulations and so on and so forth. <laughs> but yeah. Who knows what's going to happen this month. I'm probably going to have to make political videos again. So that when, you, when my university degree starts back up, which is political, I'm kind of more in tune with it. The big production stuff's going to have to go down a bit. I knew that. But hopefully I'm able to deliver what I want. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching my videos if you've seen them before. Um, if you're new to this channel and you've done this whole video, thank you so much. It, it means a lot to me. And I hope to see you around soon. Um, you can always subscribe. Uh, you can always turn on the bell notification because I'll be doing some streams and so on and so forth. And repeating words like so on and so forth multiple times in those videos and streams. Including the kind of expression of repeating things multiple times. But I've digressed. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.